guys what's up scorpio thanks for watching appreciate it this is going to be a reading for the month of december we're going to break it down week by week and look at two situations for each week so you can have a heads up to what's coming up so um i will timestamp this below if it does resonate please make sure that you like and subscribe so that you can come back to it all right scorpio so remember um it's a general reading just take what's yours leave the rest behind also remember um the energies can always be flipped so um this could be your energy or the energy of the person around you, somebody that you're dealing with at the time. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, Scorpio, month of December. All right, so I actually just did uh, you guys' reading and the freaking thing didn't record. So we're doing it again. Um, <clears throat> it looked like in the reading that didn't record for some um that somebody was coming back or you know there could be somebody that was, like there's dating the first of the month like started off really well like somebody made a decision but they were still ignoring something then it kind of faded the last two weeks so uh, i don't know if that same story is going to come across but if that sounds like something that it could have been like a friends of benefits all right anyway so the overall energy you have the ace of swords so that's some type of clarity that can be communication something like that but i do see some confusion here with the seven of cups and the hermit so there is something that you're trying to figure out you have the chariot which is cancer energy the hierophant taurus energy the hermit virgo energy uh, it doesn't have to be any of those but it does look like the first week you have the six of cups in the chariot um so it, it does look like you know there could be some type of travel show me the six of cups for scorpio for the first week um there could just be a, a really nice friendship that you have with someone but there also could be somebody yeah the fool there's somebody taking a chance here definitely could be travel um some there's something that you're going for that you're taking a chance on it looks like a person show me this fool for scorpio yeah torture two of cups somebody you have a very special bond with a lot of love for show me this chariot please there's definitely a bond um that's two soulmate cards there so with you and someone so things are moving forward um it looks like somebody does express their emotions there could be gifts but there's also with the nine of swords um a there could be car trouble for some um but something is moving forward but somebody's like extremely nervous worried about it and that's probably why the fool is here because they're having to take some type of of you know chance but it does the page of cups again does look like somebody is reaching out and expressing something here scared nervous but doing it all right show okay no show me the hierophant please for the second week for scorpio so again this is taurus energy the higher whoa and the high priestess for some um this can have to do with religion the hierophant and the high priestess is like a bump up from the emperor and empress like where they will be one day so this could have to do with something like um, for some with the church or like with parents the six of cups it relates back to the six of cups from the first week um there's a that's show me the hermit for that same week oh wow and now you have the five of swords popping up kind of some resistance over there the five of swords is a win at all costs but to have that in the same week as this over here um it could have to do oh shit some, with somebody's um could be some stubbornness there some hard-headed but then there also could be something over here like um you know something really nice is is coming together there 
it's on a higher level like a spiritual level but then you have someone over here it kind of feels like a different person that's why i could feel like you know like parents or something and then because you have somebody over here it could definitely be a virgo that um it's a little bit uh, with the five of swords because it, i'm gonna take it as stubborn but hard-headed but just be mindful show me this king of pentacles again for the third week so this is taurus virgo capricorn energy the king of pentacles is um the knight of cups there is some type of offer here this person's coming forward with their feelings so um wow and it pays off the six of wands so there is something there that really makes you happy yeah the star card um you could be seeing the public eye that's a hell of a wish coming towards you and so it looks like a love offer we do have the seven of cups which can be you know maybe it brings some confusion or something but this could be like for some you could be like a superstar seeing front and center show me that seven of cups so it looks like that kind of resistance or whatever that was the week before kind of wears off show me the seven of cups though because that that can leave you with choices options or just possibly some confusion the nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is about especially because we have the king of pentacles um stability a lot of stability somebody's looking for that week even within self and finances the ace of pentacles so there is an offer that comes to you that week but again with the eight of swords it makes you incredibly nervous so don't worry you know stay out of your head don't overthink it because that'll just lead to confusion show me this page of swords for scorpio for okay the queen of swords different energy vibe the Queen of Swords is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It does look like there's some there's some type of communication that's coming here. The Page of Swords again with that. But the thing is, um, somebody here may really be like I said, focused on on finances or like some. And then there's also an angle of somebody really possibly, even though things are moving, not really sure exactly how you're feeling or where you're standing. So. Um, it definitely also feels like somebody could come back and like reveal their feelings but anyways the fourth week uh you got the page of swords twice with the queen of swords and the eight of wands so there is some type of communication but be mindful of like over texting because it's not like it's coming right back the moon is here so it does look like somebody's fine they just don't know what to do so it could kind of be like one-sided or it can be like a delay in communication so like maybe a message doesn't come through Show me this Queen of Pentacles, please, for uh, Scorpio for the fourth week. So again, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, but now you are matching someone's energy here. The Hierophant, again, Taurus energy. Tell me about that Hierophant, because this is a pretty stable energy over here. The Six of Pentacles give me one more so in the justice it's like libra energy you're, there's something that you're trying to balance out like you may be be careful about um i mean it looks like it's it's working out for you but sometimes that queen of pentacles energy can give back more than he or she like just the energy um kind of like a taking care of everybody so it's 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 actually looking like it's finding some type of balance there between i don't it kind of feels like whatever was it's not really off balance is the way the cards aren't really coming across that way but it feels like there was something there that needed to be like aligned all right scorpio i hope this helped if it resonated please make sure that you like and subscribe below if you guys like to contact me for a personal reading that information is below as well you guys take care and i'll see you next time bye